When you use Go, you can write it in almost any IDE. You can write it in any editor. But how do you build it? How do you deploy it? How do you ship it? What's going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan, and in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at how to use CI CD with Azure DevOps to build Go code. Now, don't get confused by the name Azure DevOps. Even though there's Azure in the name, you can literally use Azure DevOps to build and deploy anywhere. VMware, if you want, AWS, GCP, pretty much anywhere. You can even create releases and push to things like Jenkins and Octopus Deploy. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this in a live demo. All right, everybody, so I'm at my web browser here. I'm gonna go to dev.azure.com. And from here, I could choose one of my projects. So I'll choose maybe Azure DevOps Recipes. That's fine, I haven't done anything in here in a while. So I'm gonna click on this rocket ship and I'm gonna go to Pipelines. Once I'm here, you can see like there's some recently run pipelines, but as you can see, it's from like 2019. So uh, I haven't really been in this project for a while. So this is perfect. So we haven't been in here in a bit. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on new pipeline. From here, I have a bunch of different options where I can use the classic editor without YAML, or I can use the new version, which is with YAML. Now I would recommend using the YAML version because I don't think Microsoft's going to get away from the UI, but definitely all of the innovation and all of the new things that are going into Azure DevOps is definitely happening in the, the YAML portion, the new way to build Azure DevOps pipelines. So I'm going to choose where my code is. For this, it's in GitHub. So then now at this point, I can choose a repository that I want to use, aka where my code is, the code that I want to build in Azure DevOps. And I'm going to use my Go Web API repository. You could find it at the link right here. I click on Go Web API. So now I'm going to have a few different options. And pretty much what Azure DevOps does is it gives you a few recommendations for like what you can do. So for example, we can build a Docker image, we can build and push to ACR, deploy to AKS if we wanted to. But we're literally just going to pick starter pipeline. That's all we need. And what we're going to do is we're literally going to get rid of all of this. And then we'll get rid of all of this commented stuff. So really what a starter pipeline is, is they just give you like something to start with or something to work with. It was just a standard hello world, but we obviously don't need that. So let's go through what's currently in here. So first we have a trigger. Now this trigger is going to kick off from master. And then we have the pool, what build agents we want to use. So in this case, we can just use Ubuntu latest. That's perfectly fine. So what that means is the code will build on Ubuntu. And then we have steps. So this is where we need to start putting in our information. So what we can do is we can click show assistant. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to copy the code from our repository. So we can use the copy files task. Go ahead and click on that. We could pick what source folder it's coming from. So this is really going to depend. We don't really have to specify anything here simply because we're building off of our Go repository already. So Azure DevOps knows where that source is. For contents, uh, asterisk, asterisk, or star, star, it's literally going to take everything that's in the repository, which is exactly what we want. And then we're going to choose the target that we want to go to. Now, what I'm going to do is for the target folder, I'm going to use this variable build.artifact staging directory. Now, this is like a, I guess you can call it like a special variable or uh, an environment variable, maybe inside of Azure DevOps. So this is a specific path in the build agent in that Ubuntu latest where this code can go and then we can pull it from here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click add. So we can see here that we have our task, which is copy files and our inputs. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to want to publish that artifact. We want to be able to take that artifact and publish it so we can build it. So what we're going to do is we're going to type publish, uh, let's see, publish build artifacts right here. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to go path to publish. As you can see, like it's already a default that build artifact staging directory variable, which is really cool. So we're going to literally publish there because we're going to be copying the code from there and then we're going to publish the artifact there. And then we can choose the artifact location. We can either choose a file share or Azure pipelines. We want to use Azure pipelines. 
So we're going to click add here. Okay, so then what we have is we have our public slo publish location, we have the path to publish to, and then the drop. We actually don't need the publish location because we're going to be putting the path to publish, which is that special build dot artifact staging directory variable. So we actually don't need that. That's perfectly fine. So now what we're going to do is we need to set up Go tools. So we need to install Go on this Ubuntu latest virtual environment or build agent. So we're going to type Go. And as you can see, there's this, uh, this is actually pretty new, this task get build or test to go application or run a custom go command. Yeah, this is actually like pretty, pretty new, uh, which is really cool. So we can definitely use this to build and then the arguments, uh, we don't have to pass in any arguments specifically because we're just gonna be running a go build on this code, but we do wanna pass in a location for that working directory. And that's gonna be build artifact staging directory, that special variable slash main. So the reason why it's going to slash main, let me just show you here. We go to my GitHub, go to my profile, go to repositories, go to go web API. And as you can see, there's this directory main, and that's where my main.go configuration is for this really, really simple web API. So that's why it's going to the path, that repository path, and then slash main. And remember that a repository path, it's sitting in that working directory, the build artifact staging directory, because that's where we copied and published the code to with the target folders in task one and task two. So let's go ahead and add this new task in. So we have this right here. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see if I could find this. Uh, oh, go tool installer, that's exactly what we want. So, sorry, uh, I need to backtrack. This is going to build the code for us, and then uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install it right before. Let me just get rid of these single quotes here, put three there for some reason. So, ah, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually do the installer. Uh, I know I said we were doing the installer before, but we were just doing the build. So we're gonna need a whole separate uh, step for that. So we're gonna use this build installer, and then we'll do like 1.15. So let's do go, okay, cool. So now we have our version here. So let's go through everything that our YAML pipeline is doing, top to bottom. So first we have that trigger, that trigger is happening anytime anything gets pushed to master. And then the pool image, the pool image is Ubuntu latest. That's what we're building on. That's the environment that we're running go build on. Just like if you would do it on your local host, like you would use Windows or Mac or Linux desktop or something like that, same exact thing. And then you have your steps. So we have task one, which is we're gonna copy the code from GitHub from the repository that I just showed you. Then we're gonna publish an artifact based on that code. And that artifact, think of an artifact like, it, in, in this case, it's really just a folder that contains all of the code for us. That's the artifact. It's like a zip file, pretty much. And then you have the Go tools, and that's installing Go for you. And then finally, you have the task, which is using the build command. So Go build based on this working directory, which is build artifact staging directory, that special variable, and then slash main, where the Go web API is right here. And with that, let's go ahead and save and run. So we're gonna commit this directly to master because that's where our code is. And uh, you know, we all like to commit to master. <laughs> so let's just add a description here. So build go code with, oh, with Azure pipelines. So we'll click save and run there, right? So now, this is going to create our pipeline and then it's gonna start running our pipeline. As we can see here, it's gonna be via job. So let's go ahead and click that and we're gonna be able to see all of this code run that we just created in the YAML pipeline to build our Go code. And as you can see, it was successful. So if I go to, for instance, the Go tool, we can see that Go was installed. And then if we go to Go here, we're able to see that it's the go build. Now, this is the path. See that path there? That's what's running the go build. Well, not what's running the go build. The go build command is obviously running the go build, but that's where the go build is running. So with that, that's how you can create a build using Azure pipelines to build out your go code.
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you again next time.